Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the back of an ESTA spec S13 at VDC Okayama. We're going to be taking this thing for a rip. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which are found in the description box below. Let's get to it. But like I said, we are staring at an ESDA spec S13. I can appreciate the left-hand drive S13. And this is from Connor O'Brien. So he hit me up. If you guys remember, I did a driver spotlight on his S15 from last year. And this is his new ESDA spec S13. And like I said, I do I really do appreciate that left-hand drive of it because you know my love for left-hand drive cars because well I'm from the states so when he hit me up asked me if I wanted to take his new s13 for a rip of course I said yes he told me to drive it basically like I stole it throw it bash it have a little fun with it wall taps and all and just have a good time but it's that's what we're gonna do we'll be taking it here at Okiyama circuit as well as a few other ones and uh it's got some bright party lights inside and out but there is the model is not complete yet. The car is not 100%. He did tell me that there's some uh, fit and finish things that he needs to get done to it. But before we go f any real further, credit where credit is due. So some of these may be incorrect for spec. He did tell me it is in a Warthouse 2JZ, but it you know this data information shows it being a 3.8 liter VR38. But for base model, it was from Mike Jeffrey model street heroes and kr art interior apex and kr art wheels are from dcgp model work was from kr art and physics kr art and sound is kawa so credit where credit is due for these modelers here so we're gonna go full send here and uh see what we could do so we are gonna take a look at the inside i definitely like the way the interior glows when you turn on the lights Got that Link ECU dash in there. I think we may have to adjust our audio up a smidge. There we go. Give it a little more sound. So we're going to go full send here. And we're going to drive this in first person as well as in third person. And take a look at the replay here. Oh boy. As you can see, a little fit and finish. So you can see kind of through the hood, a little normals not flipped. Full send here. Okayama Circuit, definitely a, a fun track, but also bad if you get it wrong. Fifth gear. Throw it in. Oh, grass line. Really shallow there from that grass line, but should be able to make it up here. Almost sending that into the wall. But for first rip out, that wasn't too bad. So I definitely love doing these spotlight style driving. You guys have seen the progression with my M4. It's definitely super dialed in. But getting to drive all these other competition style cars is also fun. I'm building myself a practice car as well, which uh, you guys will see very shortly. Something I can drive with, you know, the boys and everything like that that's not... You know, giving the M4 out right now while well, it's not fully finished. So, something that's a, a little more polished of a model. So, we give it another full send. Second gear rip. Try not a grass entry this time. We were on that Robo strip on that wall. We were on that zone too. We'll have to definitely take a look at this run. Overall, not too bad. Definitely like how this car is handling and driving. Let's go take a look at those third person or the replay angles before we rip this car in third. Ah eh, no, we'll rip it in third first. We'll rip it in third person first. Oh, definitely loud. Rip headphone users. It's on a basic tune, kind of a little basic settings that I'm used to running on my cars. Oh, we scared that wide. That kind of threw us way offline. Got to get a wall tap in there, though. There it is. 
There's my wall tap. He said the wall tap it, so there's the wall tap right there. We may have tapped it when we were running in first, so let's go take a look at those replays real quick. Take a look at this first run in the glorious replay camera. Initiated way early there. Kind of did run that rumble strip, which threw us a little offline. We were about a car length off that. We're pretty good in that zone, though, and I washed out a little bit. I got in the zone, but I kind of washed out in the car. But for first run out, definitely uh, pretty solid at that second run here while we have a, a little sip of our beverage. So this was that second run that we had where we uh, definitely got up on the rumble strips on that first wall. So definitely curious how actually close to the wall we were because I felt like we were really close. So I heard the rumble strips. Good, quick, early initiation. Pretty good on that clip and here it should be, oh yeah. We were bumper in that wall. He told me to wall drag it, so we did. Overall, not a too shabby of a run. Like I said, the, driving these different cars definitely makes, I feel myself a better driver because I can learn other styles of driving. And of course we had that uh, little wall touch in the third run. We washed it out there, but I wanted to get that wall touch. There was one little wall drag. There's that wall tap. So now we're gonna change up tracks. We're gonna hit up OSW and see what we can do on a bank. So I'll meet you guys when we're on grid. So we're entering in to Orlando Speed World to do a full run. Orlando Speed World quickly becoming one of my favorite tracks over Irwindale. I know, I said it over Irwindale. So we're gonna go full send here. Set gear start. Fourth gear, kick it in. A little left foot brake, kind of right in that wall though. Handling the bank pretty well. Now the bumps pretty well. The gearing might not be correct. We're kind of just banging red line. But overall, not a shabby run at all. I do, if I do say so myself, that was a pretty pretty good run on the bank with like i said this is just a basic two it's a big thank you to car for giving me access to this car and it's uh early stages of development but like i said i can definitely appreciate the left hand drive of this 13 because well like i said from the states i like my left hand drives it's what i'm comfortable in I think we're in the wall almost. Wish I had a little more gear. Oh, a little bit of understeer. Pushing us up onto the inner bank. But those were uh, some pretty spicy runs. Oh, we definitely got to lower that. We did increase the audio a little bit for the in-car. But now we got to uh, lower that down a little bit. So we don't uh, blow all the headphone users' eardrums out. One final run in third person. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find the description box below. And then we're going to take a look at the two replays of those two runs. I want to see where I was on the wall. Oh, we're in the wall. We're dragging walls right now in this 13. Getting into the crease. Kind of just running it out. Definitely a very solid driving car and definitely had a lot of fun driving it. So once again, a big thank you to Connor O'Brien for giving me access to this car. I think my mouse cursor sp speed went up. So we're going to take a look at those first two runs. All right, first two runs here at OSW. We're going to take a look at these two runs to end this episode off. So I feel like we were pretty high on the bank. Just, you know, don't know how high we actually were. Oh, yeah, we were we were kind of in the wall. 
We were much higher on the second run. It managed his bumps pretty well. Got a little bit of poke through in the fenders, but you know, like I said, some fit and finishing and stuff like that. He said he's got to get finished. But overall, a very solid car. Kind of just running that crease. I can definitely appreciate the subtlety of style with this car. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the channels, description box below. If you guys have composite cars and you guys want to possibly see them here spotlighted on the channel, hit me up on Instagram and let me know in the direct messages. We can maybe work something out if we can get that car here on a little uh, spotlight episode. So this run, I feel like we were way closer. Yeah, we were kind of in the wall. So that's going to do it here for this episode here on a set of course. A big thank you to Connor for giving me access to this car. And as always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.